Welcome to jQuery Tips and Tricks. In this chapter, we'll be taking a look at CDN fallback example. So we usually import jQuery and other libraries from different CDNs like from Google or Microsoft. There might be a chance wherein the scripts are not available for some reason. And in that case, we have to ensure that our website and the functionality remains intact and it should not break. So in case your CDN is down for some reason, we have to have a fallback option. Over here, I'll be quickly demonstrating you how we can do that. The basic idea for CDN fallback is to check for a type or variable that should be present after our script loads. And if it's not there, we try getting that script locally. So over here, you can see that under the scripts directory, I have kept a local copy of jQuery library. Now, what I'll do is I'll quickly get the CDN example. Over here, you will notice that I'm not specifying anything like HTTP or HTTPS, which resembles to SSL. That's called the protocol less approach. And usually it's better because, you know, if you have to move your site from HTTP to HTTPS, you need to make sure that all the references are HTTPS. So keeping it protocol less ensures that automatically. So over here, I'm getting my CDN from Google APIs. And next what I'll be doing is, in case the CDN fails for some reason, I need to make sure that my local copy of the script gets loaded. So to do that, I'll be writing the script tag. And inside the script tag, I'll make sure whether jQuery is initialized or not. So I'll write window.jQuery. And if it's initialized, then fine. Otherwise, I'll have to write document.write. Inside the parenthesis, I'll be writing script src. That is the source. And as you can see, it's under the scripts directory. So I'll write the scripts and then the name of the file. That is jQuery hyphen 1.11.1.min.js. And then the source will be closed. After that, I have to close the script tag, but here's a catch. Under document.write, you cannot simply write it in this fashion this will never get loaded. And you can see the error itself coming up. So how to resolve this? We have to actually make use of escape characters over here. So I'll be writing X3 and capital C, and then a forward slash. So this way, it ensures that I'm closing it properly. And once the script tag is closed inside document.write, I'm closing the outer script tag. So let's save this and write a function which will demonstrate that jQuery is actually loaded. So I'll be writing the script tag and inside that I'll be writing document.ready function and inside the function I'll write it in this way. Over here, I can simply say console.log and then any message which says that jQuery is loaded. So let's check this one in browser and see how it works. So you can see under the console that we are getting jQuery loaded. Now, this is the normal approach which you see while writing jQuery code, I mean, whenever we want that, where the DOM is ready and we want to execute some code. But this is not a good practice. The better approach to write such function is something like this as shown over here. So you can notice that we are passing the jQuery object, that is the dollar symbol window, and the document object model over here. So three things are going. Was the Scripts are loaded. We are passing window.jQuery, window object, and document object. So rather than writing this piece of code, it's better to have this one. So over here, if you see 
the dollar symbol is locally scoped and then we are listening for the jquery ready event on the document other code you can write over here so that's the better approach to detect whether dom is ready and then fire your jquery code so if i run this one now it says dom is now ready so in this example we have taken a look at jquery library loading jquery library but in case you are using any third party libraries apart from jquery you just have to ensure that whatever function is available whenever that library loads you need to check for that one and if that's available it simply means that your library has been successfully loaded otherwise you have to go for the fallback option thanks and see you in the next chapter